seated. Um, but again, if you want to come to lie down on your back, then please do. If you're more comfortable lying down, perhaps over the weeks, um, a seated position has become a bit more comfortable. Because um, in our normal day-to-day -day lives, we don't tend to sit cross-legged on the floor anymore. Um, so perhaps over the weeks, because I cannot believe that this is the 12th week or 13th week, I think, that we've been doing online yoga. Um, so just, just notice when you first come to sit down, if it's not all right for you to sit like this this morning, then lie down. But maybe just take a moment to think whether you are already starting to just sit a little bit taller, whether you feel a bit more ease when you come to sit sit down. It's amazing how our bodies adjust. And if you do need a cushion, I've got a cushion. I always find it a lot more comfortable to have my hips just a little bit lifted, first of all, in the practice. So just come to sit down or a comfortable position of your choice and close your eyes. And I don't know and obviously I can't hear you, but I don't know if you can hear the rain. It's, it's, it's actually a really lovely sound in here. It's almost like I'm in my own little cocoon. So just take a moment to arrive here. Lots of change, lots of things going on this week. Some things that we're in the media that are really, really sad, okay? Um, and I think it's really important, especially through yoga and a yoga community, that we all come together and we all stand together. We do have this connection. We're all different, we're all unique, and that is what is lovely. That's what makes the world a beautiful place. And those are the things that need to be embraced. So just take a moment to think of loved ones near and far. The next breath in, breathing in lots of love into your heart space, into your chest, and sending lots of love back out to the world. Two more, just like the last. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more in your own time. And we'll just go back to your natural breathing, the natural rhythm. Tune in to any sounds that you can hear, maybe in the distance. And then maybe you can start to bring that awareness to the sounds closer, coming back towards you. It's almost like you're zoning further away and then you're drawing everything back in. And when your awareness is to your surroundings, just tune into yourself, tune into your body. And I want you to think of something within you or something about you, something perhaps that makes you unique. It could be a funny little trait or habit that you have. It could perhaps be your smile, your laugh. Something it makes you you.
taking a few more conscious breaths here. Really giving yourself thanks for the person that you are and for your uniqueness. I've said many times about we are all perfectly imperfect and that's just how it should be. From here, if you're lying down, just come back up to a seated position. Drop your chin towards your chest when you arrive here. And just allow the shoulders to tug back slightly so the elbows start to draw back, possibly in line with the ribs, and the elbows drop down, tucking the chin in towards the chest, just feeling that stretch through the neck. On an inhale, slowly carving a line with your nose all the way up towards the ceiling. Careful not to crunch through the back of the neck too much, just feel that stretch. And on an exhale, again, dropping the chin to the chest. So really moving slow here, feeling that movement in the neck. You can keep your eyes closed. And then inhale again. Carving a line with your nose all the way up. Two more of these with your own breath, your own movement. Just feeling that stretch. And then the next time your chin arrives on your chest, just pause here. Bring your hands gently to your heart center. Slowly open your eyes, look at your hands. This gesture, this hold here with the hands, bow to yourself, acknowledging the light and the awesomeness within us and within each other. From here, inhale, start to lift the hands up above the head. Following the hands with your gaze, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands come down to the side. Either keep the head at centre or drop the chin in towards your chest. Navel draws in. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Reach the hands out left to right. Palms come to touch above the head, maybe looking up. Exhale, hands down to the heart, dropping the chin to the chest. We'll do two more of those. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands left to right. Maybe chin drops down. Inhale, hands come all the way up. Hands to touch. Exhale, hands to heart. Last one in your own time. Pausing at the heart when you arrive. Inhale, slowly lifting the head back up to centre. Keeping the hands firmly pressed towards each other. From here, you're just going to slowly bring your hands over towards the left. And as you do, or your elbow, left elbow over towards the left. And as you do, just gently twist them through the waist. So we're not using the hands on the knees. Just get a little bit of movement here. Using the waist, the abdominal muscles in the back, just a gentle move. Inhale, coming back from centre. And then take your arms, your chest, twisting at the waist towards the right. Take a breath here. Inhale, coming back from centre. Exhale, release off the hands, give the hands a bit of a shake. 
You can even massage the hands just a little bit with some wrist circles one way and the other. And then we're going to come over onto all fours. We're going to make our way into extended child's pose first of all. So bring in a big toes to touch, knees wide. Just send your hips back. If you need to, you can put a cushion behind here just to rest your hips on. And just take a breath here. Reaching with the hands. So the hands are out in front, palms are on the floor first of all. Take a breath. Forehead gently on the ground, lengthening through the neck. Inhale, looking forwards, keeping the hips back. Reaching through the fingers, tent the fingers now, so it's just the fingertips on the floor. The arms are active, looking forwards. Exhale, chin rounds in. You're dropping the head in towards that space. So think sort of cat and cow here. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, dropping it down. So chin rolls for your roll through your upper back. Inhale, looking forwards. Exhale, this time plant the hands, roll the chin in towards the chest. Inhale, rolling up, keeping the knees wide. From here, bring the right hand into the center. Inhale, reaching with the left. So the hips are wide here. Just take a stretch. Notice how you feel. You can get some movement in through the neck. Exhale, left hand comes down, replaces the right. Inhale, take the right arm up towards the ceiling. Full breath here. Exhale, right hand comes down. From here, just walk the knees underneath the hips. So come into our all fours position now. Inhale, drop the tummy, coming into our cow pose. Open up through the chest. Exhale, round and through. Into the cat. Pushing down through the top of the feet, so full body awareness. Inhale, into cow. Exhale, into our cat pose. So now from here, just decide if you want to take a few organic movements here as you're breathing. You can take the hands further away, dropping the hips. Just get a little bit of movement in through the body. So moving mindfully this morning. Maybe taking some circles, just waking up the body. And then when you're ready, keeping the hands just a little bit further away now, curl the toes under. Inhale into our cow pose. Exhale, push the hips away, slowly lifting the hips, coming up into our first downward dog. Take a moment here just to stretch out the legs, maybe reposition the hands and the feet, just coming to a comfortable position here. Find the breath, pedaling the legs. Anchor down through that left. Foot. Feel the sole of that left foot on the floor. Inhale, lift the right leg up behind you. Maybe just see how high that right leg will go. Exhale, right knee in towards the nose. Inhale again, a three legged dog. Reach that right leg up behind you. Exhale, knee towards the nose. Inhale again, three legged dog. Exhale, knee towards the nose, then send the right foot back, down to join the left, lower the knees, shift the hips back, come into a child's pose. You can keep your arms active in front or allow the hands to slide all the way back, folding forwards, taking three conscious breaths here.
One more. Inhale, coming back up. Planting those hands, curling the toes under. Shift those hips back first of all, and from this position, then start to lift the hips, rolling through the spine, coming up into our downward facing dog. Navel draws in, almost like you're trying to bring in the lower ribs. Full conscious breath. Anchor down through the right foot now. Inhale, lift the left leg up behind you as high as it will go. Exhale, left knee in towards the nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee towards the nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee towards the nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. And then set the left foot down. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Stretch the hips back towards the heels. So you're really bending the knees. And then slow walk all the way up, forward fold. Releasing through the head. Maybe just taking the hands and just doing some circles with the hands, just looking after the wrists. Soften through your knees, you can give your hands a bit of a massage, so it's really important that we look after our body. We find a way to nurture them when we come to these pauses, releasing the head down. Inhale, right hand comes in front of the face, so you're like you're doing a tripod. With the two feet in one hand, reach that left arm all the way up, slowly sliding the left arm across the body, straightening through that left leg, bending into the right, coming into the twist this side. So you're really opening up through the chest, relaxing through the head. So sometimes we really sort of crunch through the neck here, just find some softness. Now that means your gaze is out to the side because you feel like it's causing less tension than looking up towards the hand and take the gaze out to the side. One more breath here. Exhale, release, bend both knees. Left hand comes down and faces the right. Inhale, reaching up through that right arm, straightening through the right leg. Maybe you're on the fingertips of this left hand on the floor. Maybe you're on your palm. For me, I prefer to have a bit more space, so I tend those fingertips, just reaching the arm up. Take another breath. So you're really active into this right leg, into this right hip, opening up through this right hip, through the right ribs, all the way through the chest. Exhale, release. Forward fold. Softly through the knees. Hands coming to the feet. We're going to inhale, take the hands all the way up to the hips. Roll the shoulders back. Navel draws in. Bend those knees. Bend the knees a little bit more than you normally would here. Crown of the head reaching forward. Flat back position. Inhale. Maybe you can lean forward coming onto the toes. Just lifting those heels really briefly. Building strength, take a full breath, keeping the hands on the thighs just for now. Exhale, release the heels down, folding all the way back down. Inhale, take the hands left to right, slowly roll up through the spine, reaching the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a breath here. Notice, notice how this feels in the body. Keeping the hands at the heart, we're going to set the left foot back. So just peel the left heel off the floor first of all, and then stepping back, coming into our high lunge. Adjust 
your position if you need to, hands at the heart. Full breath, bend into that front knee. Inhale, start to straighten through the legs. You really start to come on the toes of that back foot, really reaching up, almost like you're sucking everything up through this midline, through the root. Exhale, bend into both knees, sink that back leg down. You're not coming quite to the floor. Inhale, reaching, straighten through the legs, moving slowly. Exhale, bending both knees. Lovely. Inhale again, reaching, straightening through both legs. Full breath. Exhale, bending. Keeping the knees bent just for a moment. Inhale here, take the arms out, cactus the arms, so then the elbows are still bent. Maybe a slight back bend here. And then exhale, bring your hands down to frame your front foot. Step that right foot back to meet the left, coming into plank pose. Full breath here. Strong, shift the weight forward slightly. So you're just coming over the wrist, elbows suck in towards the side, lower the knees. Exhale, coming all the way down to the floor. Come on to the top of the feet, roll those shoulders back, inhale, full breath. Exhale, folding back down. Inhale, curl the toes under either through knees or straight to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Conscious breathing into both sides of the body. Almost on those exhale, feel the shoulders wide and broad and away from you. It's almost like you're wrapping those shoulders round, drawing those elbows towards the floor, but keeping the arms relatively straight, if that makes sense. Just allows that space in the upper back. Inhale, bend the knees. Again, sink those hips all the way back towards the heels, and then slowly making your way up, forward fold. Maybe here, wrapping the hands around the legs, either holding onto the calves or the ankles, drawing your elbows back and in, and then folding down towards your knees. You can bend your knees here also, you don't have to be straight. Exhale, release. Inhale, allow your hands to come all the way up to the top of the thighs. Bend your knees. Navel draws in. So we're just imagining again, almost like you're in this chair position. Okay. But we're not sort of chest up. We're just leaning forward slightly. Roll those shoulders back. Take another breath. Inhale, rock forward. Maybe you can lift the heels. Holding here, find a focus, a dristy. One more breath. Exhale, release the heels slowly, folding back down. Bending through the knees, hands to the left to right. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. This pause here, just notice. So, slowly moving through the transition, through the movements, just building strength, but moving in a really mindful and conscious way. So, that's where the magic and the change happens. We could just flow through this a lot quicker, but sometimes it's just nice to slow it down, really focus on our placements, focus on the breath, take another breath here, 
keeping your hands at your heart. From here, going on to the other side, so slowly peeling the right heel off the floor, lifting that right leg first. You've got this balance here, bringing everything together, and then leaning forward. And as you do, sending that right foot back behind you, coming into this high lunge. Again, get your position when you arrive here, find that foundation. And then start to straighten through that back leg. So it's like you're pushing the heels away from you and that back knee starting to lift up. Take a breath here. Head over heart, heart over pelvis. On an inhale, start to straighten through both legs. And as you do, lifting up through the front body, Exhale, bending both knees. So we're sinking down, not leaning forward here. The body's remaining in this upright position. Inhale, if you haven't already, straighten through both legs. Exhale, bending both knees. Moving slow, pausing just before you reach the mat. Inhale, reaching, straightening. Exhale, bend. And again, inhale, reach straight through the legs. Exhale, bend. Hold here. That right knee is just hovering off the floor. Open up through your arms. Catches the arms strong through the legs. Breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Hands come down to that front foot. Then step that left foot back to meet the right, coming into our plank. Feel free if you need to lower the knees, do here. Take a breath. Exhale, lowering all the way down to our bellies. Come on to the top of the feet. Inhale, rolling through. Cobra. Exhale, rolling back down. Inhale, pushing up onto your knees, bringing big toes to touch, knees come wide, sink the hips back, maybe keeping the arms forward and keeping the arms lifted with palms on the floor. So we're keeping this activity, this activation through the sides of the body, into the shoulders. Take few moments here just to breathe, to reset. Notice your breath. And soften through the hips a little bit more, allowing them to become heavy. On your next inhale, gently lifting the head, gazing forwards. Use your fingertips, your hands to pull you back up, walking the knees back in underneath the hips, planting the hands. Tucking the toes, inhale, make your way to downward dog. Exhaling, arriving here. Again, anchor through that left heel. Inhale, lift the right leg up behind you. Exhale, right knee in towards the nose. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, knee towards the nose. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, knee towards the nose. And then looking forward, you can either lower that left knee if you need to, or stepping that right hand up to meet, uh, that right foot up, sorry, in between the hands. From here, just walk your right hand on the inside of this right leg. Coming onto the fingertips here. Inhale, open up through the chest. So you can lower this back knee and be here. Just take a moment. Maybe walk, turning the toes or walking that foot out slightly 
toes shining off the mat. From here, just inhale, looking forward. Uh, exhale, rounding through the chin, the chest. You bring bringing the chest in, uh, the chin in towards the chest here. Inhale, looking forward, open up through the chest. Exhale, rounding through. It's amazing how you can feel the stretch. I certainly can all the way into that left hip when I tuck my chin in towards my chest. Full body awareness here. Inhale, looking forward, walking that foot back through center, and then stepping right foot back to meet the left. Pedaling feet here. Coming on to the other side. So anchor down through that right foot. Inhale, peeling that left leg up. Exhale, left knee towards the nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left knee towards the nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left knee towards the nose, really rounding through the back. And then stepping left foot up between the hands. Feel free if you want to lower the knee, do. It's absolutely fine. Walk that left foot out a little bit. Maybe bring the palms to the floor, maybe you're on your fingertips. Inhale, open up through the chest. Take a breath here. Turn the toes out or maybe walk that foot out a little bit wider. Taking another breath and on the exhale, drawing the chin in towards the chest. Inhale, open. Exhale, rounding through. One more. Inhale. Exhale, rounding through. Coming back, walking that left foot back. Framing that foot, sending that left foot, maybe lift the left leg all the way up behind you, three-legged dog, and then bringing that left foot down to the ground. Inhale, shift forward, roll forward into plank. Exhale, elbows draw in either lower halfway, chaturanga, or all the way, cobra, upward facing dog. Lower the knees down. Rolling back through, take a breath. Hips come down, arms reaching out in a variation of child's pose. Take a breath here. Inhale, slowly coming back up to all fours. So hands underneath the wrists. Uh, knees underneath the hips, you need to just roll out one hand and then the other. Please do. And if you're really feeling it in the wrist, you can roll up your mat or have something like a little roll blanket that just lifts the, the wrist higher than the hands when you're in this position. Do it down the dog as well. There are wedges that you can um, purchase that just take. Instead of the hands being flat, you have a bit of a different angle just looking after the wrist. So there are options if you need them. Okay, so from here, listening to the body, finding that position that works. When this all fours, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Wrap the shoulders out and back so that the elbow creases shine forward. Take a full breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Navel draws in, coming to this flat back position, looking down in the space between the thumbs. So you have this long line through tailbone all the way up to the crown of the head. From here, send that right foot behind you, toes turn down. Take a breath. Notice if you collapse through the body, can you have that awareness here? Lifting the left arm up in front of you. 
Inhale, exhale, left elbow, right knee draws in. Inhale to reach, create that length. Exhale, drawing in. So you can almost think cat and cow here as well. Taking that length through the foot, through the sole of the foot, and as you exhale, you're rounding through. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. This time, inhale. Bend your right elbow, bending this knee, lifting the knee now out to the side. So sometimes this is called fire hydrant with the leg. Take a breath. Three, two, one. Release left hand down. Release right knee down. Just coming to sit kneeling just for a moment. Just rotating the wrist, giving the hands a massage. You can do sort of kneading the bread or fill up arms where you flip your hands down, really reaching through those fingers and then drawing the hands together. It's like you're pushing through this, this base, this top part where the wrist meets the hands, really drawing up, just stretching through, shaking off, full breath. We're going to come down and do the other side. So replant the hands. Again, coming back to this foundation. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Shoulders wrapping back and round. Elbow creases shining forward. Lots to think about here. Anchoring through the top of the feet. Navel draws in. Full breath. On your next inhale, send that left foot behind you, pushing through the sole of the foot. Pinky toe turned down towards the floor. Inhale, reach that right hand, find that stability, and then exhale, rounding through, elbow and knee drawing in. Inhale, creating that length. Exhale, drawing in. Keep that going. One more. Inhale, taking the hand and the foot in front, then bending the elbow, bring the elbow back and the knee out to the side. Navel draws in. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring the hands down, bring the left knee down, look the hands forward. Shift forward, elbows draw back behind you, slowly lower all the way to the floor. Bring the forehead to the mat, bring your hands to stack on top, resting forehead on top. Coming into our crocodile pose, just shake the hips left to right. Full breath. Just take a couple of conscious breaths here. Maybe walking the feet towards each other so the big toes come to touch and then allow the heels to roll out left to right. You're just getting that rotation in the hips. Taking a breath. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, bring the hands back underneath your shoulders, curl the toes under, either push through knees or push straight up to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath here, anchoring down. That intention through the heels, starting to bring the heels towards the mat. Again, they don't have to touch, it's just that awareness. In this position, wrapping those shoulders round, not causing any tension in the upper back. Anchor through the left foot. Inhale, lift the right leg up behind you. Exhale, knee towards the nose, pause, and then step that right foot up. 
in between your hands. Take a breath. Inhale, rise and bring the hands to your heart, to your chest, coming all the way up. Exhale, pivot that back foot, coming into warrior two. So my hands are at my heart, in prayer position, feet are in warrior stance. Take a moment here. Inhale, arms out left to right. Looking forward towards that right hand, over that right knee, bending into that right knee. Bringing left hand behind your back, leaning forward onto that right hand, or maybe the right hand can come down towards the floor. Inhale, coming back up, and then reaching right hand back behind you. So keeping this left hand right behind your back. Inhale, coming forward. Maybe reaching with that hand, right hand can come down towards the ankle, or you rest the right elbow on, the, on your knee. Keeping that front knee bent. Inhale, coming up, and all the way back. Three more of these coming forwards. Maybe rolling that shoulder back, we can keep the gaze down. Inhale up and back. Coming forward, exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. This time we're going to inhale, inhale all the way up, straight through that front leg. Keeping this left arm behind you, exhale, lean forward with that right arm. Right hand, the back of the hand comes to the shin, maybe to the floor, maybe you rest the hand on the leg here, roll that shoulder open. You can either keep your left hand behind your back here, or if you want to, you can slowly peel the left arm up, coming into our Trikonasana triangle pose. Full breath. Exhale, bend into that front knee. Inhale, bringing both arms up to warrior two. Then we're here comes the transition where we pivot that back foot. Left hand drops down. Inhale, look forward, high lunge. Exhale, framing that front leg. Step the right leg back. Coming into our plank, vinyasa. Either lower all the way down on Chaturanga, upward facing dog or cobra, and we'll meet back or downward facing dog. Anchor through the feet, through that right foot. Inhale, lift the left leg up behind you. Exhale, left knee in towards the chest. Hold, hover here, and then set the left foot up. Come into this balance. Open up through the chest, bring the hands to the heart, and then transition using your legs to lift your torso, your body up here. Inhale, exhale, pivot that back foot, coming into warrior two. Just gaze out to the sides at the moment, I'm facing away from you, but just gazing out so you can. Get the position with the feet, navel draws in, hands at the heart. Inhale, take the arms into warrior two, gazing towards the front. Full breath. Right hand comes behind your back, now so it's the back of the hand. It can just place here or you can grip on. I quite like to just place, rolling that right shoulder back. Inhale, take the left arm back, feel that stretch. Exhale, keeping that front knee bent. Either left elbow comes to the knee, or maybe the hand comes down to the floor. You can look down towards the ground, or out to the side. Inhale, coming all the way up and back. Exhale, coming forward. Keeping this transition. Inhale, just moving with the breath back and forward. Find your own rhythm here. Building strength, 
lengthening through the body, releasing tension in the shoulders. Inhale, last time coming out, coming back down. Inhale as you come up, straighten through that front leg, reaching back with the left hand, and then as you come forward, bumping the hips back, really reaching with that left hand, and then bring your left hand down to rest on the inside of that left leg, somewhere maybe fingertips come to the floor, roll that right shoulder open, perhaps peeling that right arm up now towards the ceiling. Again, you can look up towards this hand. If that's too much, keep the gaze out to the side. Breathing deep. Relax through those shoulders. Full breath. Navel draws in. Bending into that front knee. Inhale, coming all the way back to warrior two. Transition here, right hand drops down and comes forward and as you do, you pivot that back foot, reach those hands up, maybe a back bend, exhale, hands come down, framing that foot. Last chance for a vinyasa, step the left foot back, either lower the knees or chaturanga, upward dog or cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath, releasing through the mouth. Inhale, exhale, slowly lower the knees down. Slide your feet to one side, coming over onto your bottom, and then just bringing your feet out in front for a moment. Reaching forward, steeple grip, and then a slow roll down. Navel draws in, pointing through the toes, lifting up through the arms, take a full stretch. Exhale, release your hands. Just take a moment here. Just breathe, notice how you feel. Before we move on, so just a little check in. Hopefully, you generated that heat. Lots of strong awareness through the body. Take that full breath, diaphragmatic breathing. Bring the hands, interlace the hands. Bring them behind your head, open up through the shoulders. So for me, I quite like to push my head into my hands to lift my shoulders to wrap them around and then replant. Bringing the knees up, so bending the knees, bringing the feet to the ground. Just take a moment here. And then slowly peeling the feet off the floor, bringing the knees, the shins, parallel with the ceiling. Making sure you can feel your lower back. So if the knee's too far away, you'll get that arch in your back. So you need to bring your knees in close as you need to so you can feel your lower back flush with the mat. And we're just gonna do a few yogic bicycles before we finish. So from here, it's just a case of switching over. So we inhale here, as we exhale, the right elbow comes towards the left knee, and as we do, the right leg straightens, it comes away from you. Inhale back to center, exhale switch. Left elbow, right knee, left leg straightens. Inhale back. You can move as slow as this, exhale twist. Inhale back, exhale twist. So you're really activating through the core, twisting on the exhale, Inhaling to come back to centre. You can miss out the pause in the middle if you want to and just go from side to side, switching. 
making sure that you're breathing here. You're not holding your breath, or you can go slow. Keep it going, lifting up through the head and the shoulders, not using the hands to pull against the neck, the tummy muscles that are doing the work. Ten more seconds. You can do it. Building strength. Five, four, three, two, one, and, and release. Release your head, release your feet to the ground. Walk the feet wide, allow your knees to fall in towards each other. And just bring your hands down onto your belly. Take a moment here. You can even use your hands to just massage your tummy in a clockwise motion. And then separating the knees, keeping the feet wide. We're just going to windshield sort of wipe the legs. So if you imagine your windscreen wipers, just gonna allow the knees to rock from side to side. And as you do, just gently slide the feet away from you. So eventually you'll come into full length on your mat. So just start to work those hips, a nice twist into the spine and then Reaching one leg out, reaching the other. Reaching the arms all the way up above the head. Just take that full stretch. And then as you bring the hands down to the side, allow the feet to come a little bit wider, maybe as wide as your mat, maybe even wider, take the arms wide. Palms perhaps facing up so you're rolling through those shoulders. Again, feel free to gently push into the back of the head so you can lift your shoulders off the floor, that back of the back, and then replant them. And then pause. Come to stillness. Notice how you feel. working on that idea of moving with mindfulness, so you're moving with the breath, with that full awareness. Don't always have to use weights or go to the gym. What those things which are great, which I like to do also, but sometimes we can just slow it down and use our bodies to move. It's amazing what our bodies can do and how strong the practice can be when we have that full awareness and we move a little bit slower. Just take a moment here. With your natural breath, just notice the rise and fall. Deep breath in, conscious breath out, two more. Get some movement in the body. 
Maybe bringing the knees in towards the chest, giving your knees a hug, squeezing the knees in, lifting the head up towards the knees, and then releasing the head back down, rolling over onto one side and slowly coming back up into a seat. Bringing your hands to your heart when you arrive here. Just notice. Notice all those sensations in the body, the energy that you've created. Not just by the practice, but also by giving yourself this time to practice. That's a different way to use your energy. So from me to you, thank you for sharing your time with me. Have a lovely day, a refreshing day. Big breath in, big breath out. Bring the hands to the forehead. Namaste. Mm -hmm.